Okay, uh, I'm doing this to show how uh, the look for uh, the and the visual style for Wolf Among Us was achieved, even for The Walking Dead from Telltale Games, but that was more basic, and uh, now they ramped up the quality a bit. Um, I'll work on this uh, face. I made a generic face uh, very quickly, so sorry for the bad topology, but will uh, it will do fine for um, achieving uh, what uh, this tutorial is about. I uh, set up a simple wall, so um, I'll have even an environment to achieve the complete look. Uh, I worked a bit on uh, the eyes first, but uh, let's texture this. Sorry for my uh, thick accent and my cold. I'm a bit uh, on the bad side this morning, but let's hope uh, it will be clear enough. So I have a couple of screenshots here from the game to show you what uh, we'll be doing this uh, today. So we we'll need uh, a darker texture and a lighter texture for uh, the environments, and uh, I'll show you how to mix them together. Um, according to the light position and how the drop shadows affects um, affects the changing of the texture. So, for the characters, we need um, to paint some um, some shading in the texture, like ambient ambient shading mostly, not direct shading from the light sources, um, because they achieve this like they have three things like. Um, there's the shading put into it around the eyes, uh, around the face, and uh, there's the line art, which uh, is painted on the characters and on the on the background models, etc. Uh, and uh, they add even a contour line from the shader. Uh, I'll show you how to do that either in offline render uh, with uh, V-Ray Tune or um, anything that's doing this simple effect, you can find tutorials all over the internet. Um, and I'll show you even how to do it uh, in a real-time environment with um, doubling the geometry. Usually that's the technique they use in most video games that do this. Uh, if you remember, um, there is an old game, uh, it's called 13. Uh, if you don't know it, uh, look it up, it's really cool. Uh, it didn't look that great because of the lack of polys uh, for the time, but uh, they do a great uh, comic book style for this kind of environment. Um, I would love for Telltale Games to take some things from that game because they have that uh, little boxes of things happening, like if you had, uh, take a headshot, you can sh see in slow motion every frame of the thing happening. So. Okay, so be besides that, we need a normal mapping, some normal mapping or normal bump, doesn't matter really, uh, because for uh, for improving cell shading, they did this um, technique of using a normal map to add some noise to it and creating uh, this wobbly line, so it doesn't be that coarse classic sh cell shading on a 3D object line. Um, most uh, most engines uh, or game developers don't do that, but this is a nice touch. Okay, let's paint the textures. Um, I'm using Modbox, but it's it doesn't matter really. You can either use body paint or directly painting it on, into 3ds Max with uh, with uh, canvas, um, I uh, prefer uh, Modbox because it's easy to to use and it you can really start to paint and that's it. Now, now in Photoshop, um, I'm just uh, laying the lines, the contour lines uh, on my previous saved UV UV uh, file that I exported from the Unwrap modifier. Um, I should have used uh, wood references, but uh, I was really in a hurry, so I just painted it really quick to give it that comic book style look. Um, 
on the walls, the rest is um, they use in the game different noise effects for concrete, for wood, for uh, walls, I don't know, tapestry or whatever they, they have. They, um, they usually use uh, baked lighting for the background and uh, for immediate objects that are nearer to the character they use um, this kind of shader to um, achieve the shading real time. So okay, so with uh, our texture finished we need to make the dark texture for uh, the unlit areas. I'll be using uh, the lion layer uh, to create a mask. Um, I'll need this to um, to get that uh, negative look, but <coughs> sorry. Um, and I'll be using this to bring out the color from the background uh, in the lines. Um, if you see, there's uh, here, there's around, uh, there's uh, some color from the background and even here it's not uh, perfectly white okay let me mask uh, this real quick uh, okay I need to invert this okay um, in the background I will need some sort of black okay here it is Maybe it's a little too light, I don't know. Uh, okay. Something like this. Okay. We'll save this as. Um, what texture? I had the one already, I made the test earlier. So. This will be my shadow. Uh, let's open up 3ds Max. I'll open uh, the scene I had earlier with uh, my model. Uh, so we have the textures for the character. We have the texture for the uh, the wall. I set up uh, a simple wall around here. <coughs> um, I'm not going into much detail because um, you'll figure it out from here. Once you have the technique ready, do whatever. So, for the face, I need the material, okay, let's do this, uh, with face material, mm, apply that, mm, we need the self-illumination of 100, and uh, white, so we don't have any shading, we should create a, a mix, that mixes the two textures together, uh, I haven't done a darker texture for the character because I'll uh, use color correction for that. So for the um, light color I'll use the light texture and the slightly darker one for uh, for the black. Uh, I'll mix uh, those two together with a gradient ramp that will uh, be solid <coughs> to get that cell shading. Uh, let's uh, set it to lighting, so we'll follow uh, the light and the light source. Um, let's give this a try. Create a for the hard shadows. Let's use uh, not a very light uh, standard uh, target spot. Okay, a bit up. Uh, I'm using V-Ray, so you can use uh, Ray Trace shadows, but uh, I'll be using V-Ray, and um, so I get very, very, very sharp shadows from it. Um, no area shadow, just simple. Okay, this is hmm, kind of okay. I'll pull it even further away. Uh, okay, this is half decent. Uh, for the environment, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, do the same, clone this material, and 
this will be my um, background and uh, in this I'll mix the um, uh, let's see how it how it looks okay the thing is I I have very shadows a uh, very uh, tone activated so I'll deactivate that for a second and you can see it doesn't have lines anymore but I still want it for my character so I leave it like this at the moment um, let's go load the bit bitmap uh, this will be the light one let us see ok kind of cool and for the dark color still a bitmap and the dark color let's see how it looks ok that's cool and now for the character uh, you can um, uh, play with the settings and find uh, something that works with your lighting condition and gradient set settings uh, let's load the face texture I had previously done in Madbox this should be it but uh, in the dark areas we don't like this harsh result and they uh, they have a slightly darker texture not just black so for that we load the same texture you can do it in Photoshop but it's uh, simpler from here uh, apply some color correction to it keep the map and decrease the brightness you can see the results here and let's try it out kind of ok but less saturation maybe Okay, this is cool. So now let's bring the lines out. We don't want the uh, lines on the wall, so I'll exclude it from uh, exclude and add. Click on the wall, and there you go. Uh, it will apply the lines only to the character. Okay. So this is our final result. Now we'll try to um, uh, get that line from the cell shading broken off. Let's do a test and load some uh, load some normal mapping. Let's go to bump uh, normal bump and now just load I found uh, some noise on uh, the internet some generic noise and let's try this it's a bit too broken off so I'll lower the value let's go to with 10 okay this is getting really good it's closer to what they achieved here so that's it for the normal bump okay so I have this in offline but I want uh, if I want to get a solution like this in a real-time environment with the contour line I'll uh, isolate this for a moment now let me select the eyes I have this isolated and cloning this to use as a my uh, as a my contour line, I'm assigning a black material with the self illumination of 100. Perfect black, ambient black. Okay, so I have this on my mesh. Uh, the thing is, I don't want the to have two sides, so I'll go to object properties back face call and now it's only on the outside but I want this on the inside so I'll go to normal and now it's in on the inside and to make it a bit, bit uh, bigger go to push 
and now set the value for uh, for the line. If you want this slimmer or thicker, whatever you prefer. Okay, thanks.